Hi, I'm May. I'm from The Upcoming. What is Ghost Out and what are you most excited for people to see about this film? Um, let's start with you, Alex. Uh, so School's Out Forever as a film is a post-apocalyptic piece in which some a naughty schoolboy in the form of uh, Oscar here is, is, is basically expelled from the school, but then has to break his way back into it to survive a pandemic effectively. So it's bizarrely prescient given our own sort of circumstances. And, uh, it, you know, it's, it's clearly a complete fantasy and fiction. So it's, it, to find it being released at this t at this particular moment, when it's actually much more probable and realistic than we might have otherwise thought, is uh, slightly odd. Um, but the film—that's what the film's about. What am I most excited about? Um, well, seeing my head being pushed down a, a toilet. So I, uh, I yes, I uh, uh, I have my head placed into the U bend of a toilet. It's not a real one. Uh, and it was fascinating to see how it was actually uh, shot because they built a rig with waterproofing and all that sort of thing. So, and it took quite a while to shoot to get it accurate and all the rest of it. So I've, and I've never done a shot like that before, actually. I've always, I've always been fascinated by how they're done. And it was a, a toilet that had been shaved off at the bottom and placed on this, as I say, this rig. So yes, that was the most interesting, well, it was a very interesting part of the shooting process. And um, uh, that is the piece I would draw people's attention to in terms of my own scenes being shoved down a toilet. Awesome. And how about you, Oscar? Well, I mean, as, as for saying what school's out forever is, I think Alex hit the nail on the head. It's a, it's a post-apocalyptic film, uh, predominantly set in a, in, a, in a boarding school. And it's, it's about a, a group of survivors who are mostly the, the school kids trying to, trying to figure out a way to survive this new environment that they find themselves in. What are you most excited about it? I'm most excited for, I'm most excited for people to see the, um, the, the kind of the, the, the pacing of the film. Um, I think it's 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 kind of it ramps up very quickly, and there's 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 certain moments in the film where you know the event happens, and then I think the the viewers will realise like we we know we're we're we now like we're in for a ride. <laughs> and how did you both come initially across with the project? Um, and talk us through through the audition process for your specific role. Um, starting with you, Oscar. Yeah, I um, I just I was emailed by my agent about the project. Um, I was sent the script. I read it. Um, instantly thought I need to do whatever I can to to do this because I, I was just so, it excited me so much. Um, and I remember I taped. I think I taped three times for it before I actually got down to London to meet anyone. And um, I sent the first tape, and I didn't. I. I couldn't wait for any feedback or anything. I emailed my agent. And I just said, I, can you please get onto them and ask them to watch it and, and let me know what I need to do differently and what they want to see. And uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I was just really determined to try and land it. <laughs> and how about for you, Alex? What was the addition like for you? Well, I, 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 I had a slightly different process because I'd worked with the casting director on another on another film called Horrible Histories, the movie. So I, I, I knew I knew the casting director, so, and I think some of them had possibly seen some of the work I'd done. So I, I didn't actually go through an auditioning process. So I was very fortunate not to have to be uh, sort of as, as as Oscar was saying there, left wondering because that's the worst bit. I don't mind being told no, you haven't got the part, which happens all the time, and it's wonderful when you do get the part. Uh, but the worst bit of the work is actually maybe the phone will go this afternoon and maybe there will be some exciting news. It's when it's in the maybe that that's the most exhausting and most sort of unsettling part. As I say, genuinely being told no, it's disappointing for 10 minutes and that <laughs> you move on. And being told yes, that's great, but it's being told that, yeah, they're still thinking about it. You, we may hear soon. Oh, that's a menace. So to be actually given an offer uh, is always a real pleasure, basically. So I, I, I was able to escape that that uh, sort of torment. Yeah. And you touched a little on it, um, Alex, but I just kind of want to um, touch base again on it. Um, how did you feel watching the film for the first time and being confronted with how um, 
how much it resembled the current situation in reality right now, um, Alex? Yes, well, um, it's always fascinating to see the film assembled because when we're making it, I mean, it takes two or three months to actually shoot it. So you have no idea what a scene will look like. So it's always really exciting to actually watch the finished product and see it all sewn together and to see the music laid on and to see what's called the grade of it. Because it's shot when you actually watch it, when you're actually in the room, it being made, it all feels very stark and unappealing in a way. But when you see it on the screen, it's been tampered with in terms of color and all the rest of it. So it looks amazing. So that's always exciting. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the uh, COVID environment, this was all built a year and a half ago as a film with no concept of this ever, uh, sorry, with no concept of the idea of this film ever coming to some sort of reality. It's complete fantasy and uh, fiction. And yet, suddenly we find ourselves in a place where, yes, you do have to lock yourselves away, basically. And what that feels like is it, so new to us all. This film is bizarrely prescient, yeah. For you, um, Oscar, what did it feel like being confronted with both the film and the current situation? Oh, it was, it was just, it was almost like, I don't know, it, it was like I was dreaming to, to think that we made a film a year and a half ago about, um, a disease that kind of runs rampant around the world and then for a year and a half later well not even a year and a half later some some time after for it to actually kind of become six a reality months. yeah six months later we were suddenly yeah in the re in that situation hmm. yeah. sorry Oscar. Yeah. i was just gonna say I, but I, what i think is great though about schools out is that you know although that there is that kind of similarity i think because of the because of the absurdity of it all and because of like how because of how it's you know it's, it's set in a it's set in a school and it's it's a group of kids of I think it I think it's great in that it provides it still provides that sense of escapism and you, you kind of you don't feel like you're watching the current events going on in the world if that makes any sense. Yes, absolutely. And you both play um, student and teacher. Was there any kind of like sort of mentorship relationship going on set? Um, Al um, Oscar, did Alex give you any advice while filming or just in, in life in general? Um, I remember, I, well, firstly, I just want to say I remember finding out that Alex was a involved in this project and immediately it went from like me being excited to be a part of the film to then me being excited to meet Alex and to work with Alex because I'm a I'm a big fan Goodbye. of like <laughs> it's great. um and it was so weird as well because when we were shooting I, I was I was halfway through um the thick of it which is something oh right well, okay Alex's other many great uh performances and and it was just so weird to like go home and kind of try and relax, yeah, chill out. And be like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm watching this. That is bizarre. Yeah, yeah, but um, but yeah, no, it's just it was just it was a great experience just watching Alex work and and yeah, I mean the guy's his talent speaks for itself. Really. And Alex, did you feel like you imparted any wisdom to not just Oscar but to the rest of the very young cast of the film? I wish I had, I didn't, <laughs> but I did learn a lot in fairness from them and their uh, delight and excitement at being involved in a film and TV set, which I think when you've done it for a little while, as with everything, it, it sort of begins, you forget just how exciting and magical a film and TV set is. Um, so I, I, I learned, to, I sort of really did reset my own uh, what's the word? If I'd had any sort of, that's a good word for it, which like cynicism. If, if if any cynicism had set in, which it probably had, about oh, it's only film and TV. Let's just. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful to actually be reminded by a younger, up and coming cast uh, just how lucky we are to be in this particular industry. I mean, if that's what you want to do with your life, you know, it's not for everyone. But I, I as a child, I always wanted to do it, and it was a magical sort of possibility then I then I and I've done it and I've sort of begun to lose the oh just how lucky I am understanding and as I say so I learned a lot from the guys in terms of just reminding myself how lucky I am yeah in doing this and very quick last question but was what was your favorite day filming on set um Alex have I told you about the toilet 
Yeah, that one. Yeah. And how about you, Oscar? <laughs> I think it was exciting, yeah. <laughs> I think for me, probably, uh, probably the night shoots. Uh, well, one of one of the one of the uh, couple night shoots that we did towards the end of uh, towards the end of the shoot, uh, because it the, the it t a lot of the night stuff takes place towards the end of the film, and that's when things are kind of ramped up. And uh, it was just really exciting to see everyone running around and doing all this crazy stuff to make sure that we that we got everything that we needed and that it was all right and 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 perfect for the film and. Uh, yeah. yeah, night shoots are always, you're right, night shoots are always exciting. It's a bit sort of, there's an element of Christmas Eve to a night shoot. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for the time.